Hello again YouTube. This is Robert Stinsky with Ski Rifles. What we've got here is a barrel and the uh, lathe and it's going to be a 375 Shaytac. It originally started at an inch 400 thousandths OD and we're going to turn this down to an inch and an eighth 1.125 inches and thread it for 18 threads per inch. I just started kind of midway in turning the barrel. I didn't think I was going to film this but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. We'll get started. So we're going to turn the lathe at right now 500 RPM to start turning this down and we'll get going. Forgot what we were at. We're at about an inch 257, 258, 257. One inch fifty eight thousandths. One inch one hundred and fifty eight thousandths is where we're at right now. You can see that. So we're going to do a finer feed right now. And you know what? I'm going to bump this up to eight hundred RPM. We're going to take off twenty five. Inch 131,000 so far. Alright, we're going to take off six thousandths.
one inch, one twenty five on the money. So you can see that. Alright, I need to get a depth right here. Uh, one inch, two hundred eighty thousandths for the barrel tin and length. I'm just going to get a rough measurement real quick. I need to file this off. Okay, we're at an inch, 286,000, so you take off 6,000. I'm going to set this at 280. I've got my DRO set. I set it to zero back at the shoulder. Right now that says an inch, 280. Seventy nine and a half. Let's see that area. It's close enough. Remember, I'd be just a tad bit short than I would be long. Uh, in some cases. All right, that shoulder. Got a little bit of radius in it because of the insert I'm using. So I need to go in there. And get rid of that. Just ever so slightly. Oops. There we go. Okay. All right, we're getting ready to thread this barrel. Uh, 18 threads per inch. And this is a recoil lug that comes on this Armalite AR30 bolt action. And I just put it on there for a reference. And I don't have to thread all the way to the end of the tin. I just make a mark, color that in. And I just know I need to stop somewhere in there with my threads. So, I set my lathe up, my threading insert. I've already got my compound and everything set at 29 and a half, 30 degrees. I've already got this squared. I square my tool post with the chuck. That's all done. I think I think everybody knows how to do that. If not, you know, just put it in the comments and I can do it. All right, just touch right there. Okay, right there I'm touching. Let's see, actually, I got my cross light set at zero. Then I come in with the compound and just touch. I'm going to set my compound to zero. Come out. All right, I got the lathe set in for 18 threads per inch. I already got this set, my cross slide and my compound. And I thread, I found that I get a better finish. I thread at 500 RPM. Uh, not everybody does it. I don't think it's for everybody. Um, I find I get a better finish. 
and I like it that way. So let's do our first pass. Cut out right there. Then we're going to check with our thread gauge. Right there. On the money. Ten thousand per pass on the compound. Check all the receivers by hand. I get a better fit. Nice and smooth. All right, it just wants to start, and I've got 35 thousandths on the compound. For uh, 18 inch thread per inch, it says I need to go in advanced compound at 41, let's see, 41 7. But I don't go in all the way like that. I'm going to go in a couple thousand at a time. Test it again. I just don't know the tolerances on the receivers, so I just don't go in full bore. This pass will take off uh, two thousandths on the compound. Hand threaded check. I'm sorry, check by hand. Oops. Get up in there. There we go. What? That feels good. Feels real good. There's hardly any rocking at all. Nothing to that. And I'll take this and I'll go all the way up as far as it'll go. And then you're just going to make sure the recoil log will go in there. All right. So I need to take the threads a little further. Right there. All right, we had to advance our threads just a tad bit more for our recoil lug for our action to square up against the face. Get that nice and tight. It's not moving. And when I torque that on with a torque wrench to begin, or when it's all dead, said and done, I know for sure that's not going to move. Look, at barrel's bigger than the uh, recoil lug. 